I think that because um, some aspects are um, quite not I don't want to say easy but um, I mean you go for a casting you're there for five minutes and that's how you get a job and obviously you have to be very um, personable and uh, likeable and girls are expected to be bubbly and exciting and wow this is so much fun I'm so excited to meet you but I think that um, we often forget that your body is your business and in a way it seems like you don't really have to prove yourself other than the fact of depending on your looks and I think a lot of girls and male models take their looks um, to a level where they don't need to depend on their intellect. Like They know that their body and their face is good to go yeah. so they just don't care. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just, I remember um, when you were talking with Richard actually, he said um, that a lot of people obviously depend on their looks but in a way they forget kind of why they're there. Models who are established this is what Richard was saying, um, if a client knows he's going to get the shot, if a client knows that the model knows what they're doing, they're not going to give the newer models a chance. They don't, Toronto's market doesn't have that money, they don't have that opportunity to give new models that big of a chance to land an editorial magazine or, so, you know what I mean, like something like that, it's just looking at it on business terms, it's more the establishment of yourself first and then everything else just comes. Because once you're once you hit that mark, once you know the right people in the industry, once you kiss the right asses, once you are friends with the right people, then your career kind of sets sail. And not everybody gets there. I didn't get there. But I know a lot of people who have and I'm not saying that they all rely on their looks just after that point, but it's definitely the easier way out.